Hey everybody, I am on a bike and it, it's it's not great but I haven't got much of a choice. I needed to go to the shops because our local shops freezers have all broken down and uh, yeah they haven't got the stuff we need so I've had to do it. Plus also I've got to keep myself able to ride because I've got a couple of things coming up I've just got to do. There's not a lot else I can do about it. So I've got a few things I need to talk about so where should we start? Uh, number one, the clock giveaway. The answer was Donald. The big orange bender was called Donald. Uh, the winner was Fraser N, because I'm going to keep some anonymity for him. Um, but yeah, he won it, and I have contacted him, and he was picked at random from the people that entered. I accepted Donald with or without an exclamation mark, and then the winner was picked using a random number generator, and then I picked, you know, down the emails, and it ended up being Fraser. So he is the winner. Congratulations to him and a huge, huge thanks to Eric for making this possible. Uh, the other thing I need to talk about, because I've been asked by a couple of people now, is you may have noticed all summer long I was using the MTR short gloves and I loved them. Um, I, before using those gloves, didn't like use, the idea of using short gloves and then I found out how nice they are and yeah there is a risk you're going to scrape your, your wrist up a bit in a crash um, it was just so nice for the summer to have that fresh air getting blown up my arms well now the weather, 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 the weather has turned a bit nasty I'm trying out the, uh, these are called the speed gloves which are the most winterized not that I think that any of the MTR gloves are actually winter gloves but these have got the least venting uh, they've got the full cuffs so I'm just trying them out because people said, what are they like in cold weather? Well, I'm actually going to be using my Knox gloves in the winter. And I don't think anyone can blame me for using a £200 pair of gloves over the £30 pair of gloves I have. But to be fair, these feel pretty much as good as my Alpine Star SP1s were. Quality and build and everything like that wise. And they were like £80 to £110 a pair. But yeah, 30 quid. These are the speeds. I've only got a little bit of venting in the back of the hand, so it's not like it's uh, throughout the fingers. They seem all right. Uh, I haven't used them in cold, cold weather as yet, so I can't tell you what that's going to be like. But to be fair, when... Ow. When, um, when it gets really cold, I don't even wear my Knox gloves or my SP1s. I use these big, fat, fluffy, like, skiing-type gloves. So if you're interested in a pair of gloves for next summer, the little short ones I think are great. Uh, and if you want some cheap but good quality and reasonable gloves uh, the MTR speeds are also pretty good uh, as I said they're only 30 quid and you can get 10% no 5% off of that using code extra 5 hyphen spicy it's, the information's in the description I can't really remember the, uh, the discount code off the top of my head at the moment even though it's the beginning of every video and don't forget on that store you can also get the rock jeans they've only got blue ones at the moment we're waiting on new stock apparently i've checked that because someone asked me like well they said they haven't been in stock in a year and it's like well they have because lots of people have bought them it's just unfortunate they get them in batches so when they do come in you have to jump on it which is why i told everyone when they came in jump on it <laughs> but they still have blue ones and they also have the mtr jeans which uh, are much cheaper. They're not as good as the, the, the Rock ones. They're actually basically the Rock Gen 1 jeans, but for the price that they are as an entry-level pair of jeans, they're fantastic. If you remember in the review I did for all the gloves I mentioned on the short ones, the, um, the Velcro on the wrist could stick to the fingers. It only did that for a while. It then fluffed up the size of the fingers, admittedly, but it didn't pull the material apart. Uh, and they've stayed together and they don't stick so much now so so they don't keep that nice clean material look on the side of the fingers here because as I say it fluffs up over time but it's it's staying together it's not like it's weak in the material for the looks of it but it's something to be aware of but for 30 quid I'd be perfectly happy with the way they've performed uh, the last thing is screw socks I hate socks <laughs> as I say I'm not really riding at the moment but I have to keep myself able to because I've got an MRI scan and, and an appointment to go to in the future and today as I say I have to go to the shops to get some bits and pieces that I can't now get locally because I have been going for little walks to my local shop uh, it's not too far uh, and it's a good way of exercising my back keeping everything moving because you don't want to just like 
succumb to the pain and because you'll end up in a coiled ball on the floor and you don't ever get out of it you have to keep pushing it and that's part of the thing that makes it so bloody painful and it's still progressing down my leg it's now in my foot the, um, the sciatic pain which I believe isn't a great sign but whatever I'm going to say the, the, the bookings are there I was on the bike I needed to make a video uh, but yeah there are, sorry why oh my god the reason I'm saying screw socks is because I can't get this fucking things on anymore a couple of weeks ago it was a battle and like I managed to just do it this morning I just gave up and I just imagine that everyone who's got a chronically bad back either goes through the struggle every morning gets someone else to do it that's another possibility because uh, Reno's been able to help me on the days that she's around but I just imagine a lot of people going around in bare feet just because they can't get their socks on I actually walk around everywhere generally with bare feet. I don't really like socks in the house. But when it comes to bike boots, I really like socks. Because it feels so weird having no socks on in bike boots. I don't know if you've ever tried it. It just feels wrong and your feet don't slide in and out as easy and then getting them off is horrible and it's, oh. Jeez. It's nasty weather. I also have to say this thank you to the supporters I've had over the past couple of weeks. The people have like subscribed to me on Twitch or uh, used their you know their Twitch Prime. Um, or the people have helped me out directly. I would be a lot more worried now if it wasn't for you guys because I can't actually do any work in the garage. I'm trying, but and I sat in there and recorded two videos in a row, which you've probably seen one of them by the time you see this one. Maybe I'm not sure how it's going to work out, but um, I sat. And recorded two videos of talking for about two hours and my god am I paying for it now so there you go sorry to jump around so many subjects um, and some of it just been moaning about my back but that is what I'm dealing with at the moment uh, and as I was on a bike I thought well I should make a video on a bike while I can oh, also um, to the people who entered the competition thank you all for your messages um, I did read them all it was very kind of you to say some of the things that you said. Anyway, don't forget to leave a like and I'll catch you next time. And it will hopefully be something a bit more interesting and not me just moping. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. Thank you for the support and I will catch you all next time. Ow. If you enjoyed this video and the other content on the channel, please consider following the links in the description to show your support.